Thanking a speaker is a big part of the MC's role. Here are the six things that you absolutely must do that will make you a better MC. Hi, it's Timothy Hyde here from expertmc.com, the channel dedicated to helping you become a better MC, both on stage and off stage. And a big welcome to any new viewers. Why don't you consider subscribing to the channel and join the 4,000 people who already watch these videos. There are about 30 to watch and we publish on a regular basis, usually on a Sunday night or a Monday morning. But how do you thank a speaker? Let's go. Number six is relate. Relate. Relate or link your comments to the theme or to the purpose of the event. Think to yourself, why was the speaker there? Were they there for their insights or their opinion? Or was it for information or was it to inspire or motivate the audience? And somehow relate that in your comments. We're looking here at the big picture, echoing what the client actually wanted out of the whole event. Number five is remark. Remark on one or two points raised by the speaker in their presentation. Now, this could be, for example, I particularly liked dot dot dot, or I was amazed by that dot dot dot. Um, I was thrilled to hear so much is being done in whatever it is. So this takes it to the personal level. It shows you are paying attention and you, you got value out of the presentation as well. And at that point, remember, you are being a spokesman or woman for the group. Number four is structure. Having a good structure to your thank you. Here's one that I use. It goes quick thanks, a remark, and then end thanks. What about a made up example? Uh, Fred, on behalf of everybody here at Acme Insurance, thank you for your insights today. I'm sure everyone now has far more understanding of the situation. I particularly liked your tactic for dealing with obnoxious clients. So once again, thank you and please accept this gift on behalf of everybody here. Don't shake the hands. Ladies and gentlemen, Fred Smith. So there you are. It was a, a quick thank you, it was a big picture, it was a remark, e.g. little picture, and then wrap up and off they went. Number three is to repeat the speaker's name at the end. Yes, you've said it at the start, but also say it at the end. There's a couple of reasons for this. Some people might just turn up during the presentation. They may not have a program or an agenda, so they don't know the speaker's name. But also, they may not be interested at the start of the presentation, but by the end, they want to know who this person is and look them up further or go to their website. So say their full name at the end and please put lots of effort into getting their name correct. Pronouncing it correctly is very important. In fact, we have a full video on how to get names right with lots of hints and tips, and I think you can link to it up there. Important point number two is to insert a quote or a line, if they are appropriate, in your remarks or as the speaker leaves, using that as a link into your next presentation or event or whatever is happening after that. Here's, here's one I've used quite often. Pablo Casals, ladies and gentlemen, the famous cello player, was thought to practice five hours each and every day, even at the age of 90. When asked why, he said, I think I'm getting better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think you will agree our last speaker just gets better and better. Wasn't it great having him here today, etc. So that's a sort of example. Hey, we, we have a full article about this topic on our website and you can link it to that up there as well or in the description below and we give several more examples of little lines or stories just like that. Hey, before we give you important point number one, the most important one, please subscribe if you haven't already done so so you don't miss out on future episodes. And finally, the number one thing, the most important thing about giving a thank you speech, it's not about you. It's about the speaker. It's about the event. That's the number one rule of emceeing. So keep it short, keep it simple, keep it tight. Two, 
three minutes max is all you need to thank a speaker. Look, a good speaker will also have composed their speech with a, a beginning, a middle and an end. So there's no point in you repeating great chunks of it or, or inter more interesting facts than just that quick little remark you did. So keep it tight. Less is more. And speaking of which, that's all we've got time for. Coming up next week, we're going to be looking at nerves on stage and stage fright. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any value out of this quick video, please hit the like button as well. See you next week.